So around like 30%, I'll probably be like, okay, cool, I'm gonna be Lizard Man. Oh man, wow. That is, I'm still trying to imagine where the cutoff is for orifices. <laughs> Hello, YouTube, and welcome to Novelty Gaming. My name is Black Hollow, and this is, again, Would You Rather, the second episode. The first one was a thank you for 100 subscribers, and I had so much fun with this game, I want to play it again. So without much more rambling from my dumb ass, let's get right into the first question. And it was a good one, right, when I loaded it up be a Jedi or be a Sith and I don't think you guys need a whole lot of uh, 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 hints on which way I lean because of my commentary and the things that I say so it's pretty obvious I want to be a Sith but just to give my reasoning behind it I feel like I don't know the force lightning is a lot cooler I wear black a lot better and I feel like the purple light slaver could you know kind of may maybe maybe it could be like a you know the it could, it could be the Jesse or the Jordan of, of, of lightsabers. It could go either way. So let's go with a Sith. And I know that this is... <gasps> I am so disappointed by humanity. All right, on to the next one. Be a hawk or be a shark. Uh, you guys, I don't know if you ever heard a hawk fly overhead, but it's got this crazy, like, whoosh sound to it when the wings cut through the air and the feathers. It is like nature's helicopter, and I've always been a fan of avian sorts of things, and mainly probably stems from my pilot background and aviation background, but still, I just always love hawks. I've always loved birds. Way cooler. And sharks, yeah, you're the apex predator of the ocean, but you know what? Being a hawk... You can outfly anything, and you can catch ants from a mile away. Or you can see ants from a mile away. Okay, good. Very good. Very good. I'm very happy with how that one turned out. Ah, oh, I'm a music buff, and I'm a, mus I'm a musician, so this one, oh, this one gets to me. Okay, only listen to the Beatles, or would you rather only listen to the Rolling Stones? Okay, here's my view on it. The Beatles have a lot of variety. They're very complex in their chord functions, and they're more enjoyable to listen to. Now, energy-wise, the Rolling Stones, probably a little bit more on par with me. They're kind of a party band, but what I would say is if I I've only got to listen to one for the rest of my life. It's got to be the Beatles. The variety is there, and I won't go nuts listening to Mick Jagger. Would you rather magically flip genders every year or be forced to move and start fresh every year? Oh. Oh. Well, I, uh, <laughs> to me, it's kind of a no-brainer. Like, would I? Okay. Well, I guess I guess let's let's think outside the box here. Are we gonna are we gonna move anywhere in the world? Are we gonna be able to go anywhere in the world? And 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 is it gonna cost us money, or is are we being forced to, um, at our own monetary accord? Like, are we gonna have to spend everything? And are can we pick where we're going? Are we in witness protect? I don't know. But magically flip genders. Who who is listening to my voice right now has not wanted to flip genders for a day or something like that and if you do it every year then at least you get to get used to it and you know that it's like oh i don't really like that gender but i only got a year with that gender so i mean hell like ah uh, going on the basis that this option is going to be a little bit more um uh, uh, limited, I would probably say magically flip genders every year. Okay, good, good. I was gonna say, this one is just a little too cumbersome. But I guess boobs are too, maybe. I don't know, I've never had them before. Would you rather only listen to bagpipe music, or only listen to band- oh, I, I like both of them. I like both of them. Ah, if I had to pick, it'd be banjo. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> you guys don't like them Scots, do ya? Would you rather play dodgeball or play four square? <laughs> oh man, oh you guys, I'm too old for this question, but it invokes so many memories. Oh, I loved playing dodgeball in PE when I was young. I was the best. I'm skinny. I'm skinny like a, like like a light pole, so I could just dodge anything. No, I did. I. Oh man, I love that game. But four square, four square. Every day at recess, every day, four square was meat and potatoes. Dodgeball was like a like an outing at a fine restaurant once every month or two. I. I oh man. Oh, dodgeball, dodgeball. Got to go with what I'm best at. <laughs> oh, oh, looks like I got some competitors out there for dodgeball. I'll take all 879,646 of you on. On. Versus one. 
879,646 versus one. If you played football for a living, would you rather play quarterback or play linebacker? Oh, but I play the saxophone. I, I was up in the stands in the pep band, you guys. I wasn't, I wasn't down on the field. Okay, um, well, given my stature and given my decision-making abilities, which are also showcased in video games, I'd probably say quarterback. I'd like to, I, I would, I would fit the quarterback way better, way better. I'd fit the quarterback. I had a feeling everybody wants to be the QB. Yeah. Would you rather eat bacon for the rest of your life? Oh. Or eat potato, <laughs> eat potatoes for the rest of your life. Oh man! Oh, have you guys ever eaten large amounts of either? Okay, of course you probably have. Like the way that they sit in your stomach, those two food groups individually, and to eat them all the time. Oh man! I suppose. Okay, I suppose we'd be able to prepare it any way that we'd like. It's it's bacon, so it's a cut of the pig, and it's potatoes, which are potatoes, and so we can consume them in any way that we want to. Now, here's the deal. I'm from I'm from Idaho, <laughs> so because of that fact, I know a lot to do with potatoes. I know a lot to do with potatoes. So. I'm thinking I can probably do better with the potatoes. Uh, mm, bacon though, bacon. Uh, potatoes, I want potatoes. I know you guys are probably gonna, yeah, I had a feeling it was gonna go the other way, but you know what, that's okay. Because I got scallop potatoes, I got potato salad, I got deviled egg potato salad, I got coleslaw with potatoes in it, raw potatoes, baked potatoes, Buttered baked potatoes, mashed potatoes. <coughs> okay, <clears throat> we're done. <coughs> we're done with the potatoes. Would you rather have 50% of your body burned or 100% of your body tattooed? Oh, like, is there any, is there any like buffer zone? Like, once you get close to the ears. And like the inner, it like where's the cutoff? And then for the like, oh god, for the other orifices, like where's the cutoff? Like, where's the cutoff? Oh man. Okay, I have a. If you guys watched my second Let's Talk video, um, I've got a. I've. I think I was wearing a short sleeve that day. I've got. I've got sleeve a sleeve on my right arm, and so for me. Mm, I oh man! Somebody asked me when I was younger, and even if this shows up on on the on the questionnaire, I would rather be frozen than be burned. I would rather freeze than be burned to death. That would just be horrid, and I couldn't imagine having 50% of my body burned. And I'm assuming that this is going to be a third degree burn because this shit is permanent. So um. <laughs> <laughs> that one. Yep, that one. That one. Yep. And they're, you know what? They're addictive. So around like 30%, I'll probably be like, okay, cool. I'm going to be Lizard Man. Oh, man. Wow. That is, I'm still trying to imagine where the cutoff is for orifices. <laughs> Would you rather never be able to hear your favorite song again or never be able to watch your favorite movie again? Oh, I think you guys know, oh boy, I think you guys know which one I'm gonna choose. Uh, I'm too busy making videos to watch movies. Like, I, <clears throat> for example, the first question of this was, would you rather be a Sith or a Jedi? Uh, eh, I've only seen, like, maybe 25% of all the Star Wars movies combined, and I don't think I've seen 100% of any of them. So, uh, I'm not really a movie buff. I need my music. Oh, I need my music. I need my music. I need my music. I need my music. Even if I'm making it, I need to listen to it. So we know what I'm going to pick, but what are you guys going to pick? Comment down below. Would you rather never be able to hear your favorite song again or never be able to watch your favorite movie again? And tell me why and what your favorite song or your favorite movie again that you're going to or your favorite movie that you're going to sacrifice is. And tell me what your favorite song or movie is that you're going to sacrifice. I'm curious to know what it is that people are willing to give up. So friends, if you enjoy what you see and only if, leave a little love in the comment section and leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss the rest of this series. And as usual, enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys again.